Good afternoon, teachers and friends. Today I'll be sharing with you question 15 of the tutorial form. Um, okay, and it says that a packing case of mass 40 kg is pushed across a large floor at a steady speed of 1.5 meters per second. So as you can see here, the mass here is 40 kg. And there's an initial velocity. Double click on it. Double click on the mass. Ah, oh, correct. Ah, okay. initial velocity of 1.5 meters per second. So there's this floor here, which has a friction of um, 0. 0.03. Yeah. Okay, so we will we will run this simulation. I think the number when we did it together was zero point zero nine five. Change the floor back. Change the the friction of the floor back. 0 0.03 or uh, 0 0.3 okay. Just now I was with her in the library doing this so I can remember roughly what happened Okay, so I ran this Okay, and then you can see that the distance traveled is actually 1.195 which is approximately How do you know it's 1.195? Where, where's the number? Uh, over here Okay. Which is approximately the distance traveled when the force is removed. Because the distance traveled in the tutorial itself is 1.20 meters. So from here, we can actually check whether the... The question tells us to calculate the friction force acting on the case when it slides. So from this simulation, we can actually verify the the answer which is 37.5 using the equation F is proportional to the contact force to check the contact force it is you need a marker? Some space up, right? Erase. Okay, um, to use to verify the um, friction force, right? We can actually use F is proportional to R, which is known as the contact force. And the contact force can be found from this gravitational force over here. 392.266 Newton. Because we learned that the contact force will balance out the gravitational force to hold the object in place. So from here, F is equal to a constant mu R. This mu can be found from this um, Oh, sorry, it was this one. Uh, can I take can I take? Can I take this can I take this Zero point zero nine five. No, it's one three nine five. Really? Yeah. Okay, can be found from this? value 0.139 times the 
87 point five, right? Yeah, eighty two point five. Ah, don't worry about the the new thing because this is our syllabus. <laughs> uh, but because. Some of the meaningful things that you may want to know in life uh, involve things that are like the but that doesn't mean that you don't try to learn it. Because ultimately it's about learning things uh, which you find that can help you to explain the, the physical world and not just for the past and then I hope uh, we are not here just for mark and then. <laughs> Sorry, I made a mistake. It's also to be like in that thing more. Kinetic friction because it is moving. So we take a value of 0 0.095, which gives you a total of 37.26, which is around there because the value of our the position moved just now was 1.0. So the answer here is 37.5 which is actually approximate. So from this from this simulation we can also find out that actually understand what you're saying. Move, move this bar here. Just hang on to it and then drag. Until the, the part where you're talking about. You're talking about which part now? Okay, there's this total force here, right? Which, which symbol is it? Uh, FT over here. This stands for total force. So when you run, right, you can see that when the total force is zero, there is no more acceleration because the object is no longer moving. So from here, it actually is. Um, it actually shows us the Newton second law, which states that the rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the net external force acting on the body and takes place in the direction of the force. Any question? Gary, you understood the last part or not? Yeah. You sure? Okay, never mind, thanks. Oh, very good. Okay, now basically what she is trying to highlight is this idea that uh, the total force, which is the net force in the formula where we learn, uh, F equal MA, uh, the formula we learn in uh, is F equal MA. This F is actually the total force. In interactive physics, it's called total force. In our normal lingo, we call it net force, or we call resultant force. These are the various language you can use to describe the same thing. So she is trying to illustrate this point. When total force zero, what happens, Gary? Then the object remains stationary. And physics, what physics? When the total net force is zero, uh huh. Then in physics, if the force is zero, uh -huh. the mass is not zero. Acceleration is zero. Alright, that's what she's trying to say. She's trying to say when this is zero, zero. this is zero. Okay. Sounds very sounds very uh, simple, uh, but it's uh, it takes some time to understand this. Because apparently normal lessons may have some difficulty uh, 
revealing this uh, idea to you. Um, so I hope that through this activity you've learned how to understand this F equal MA slightly more in-depthly than the usual formulas and stuff like that. Okay. I think that's 